Hello YouTube. Uh, in this time of quarantine, people are doing silly things, and so that's what I'm doing here today. I'm going to perform a couple of uh, short excerpt scenes from Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and uh, in, in terrible wigs, um, and I will also be changing character voices as I go through it. Uh, the, the, the scenes that I will be performing star Albus Potter and Scorpius Malfoy. And uh, while the characters have a distinct look, so you'll know who's talking, their voices will change from time to time. I like doing silly voices and, and accents and stuff and impersonations, even if I can't do those impersonations that well. But hey, that's what's happening here today. So when a voice change occurs, I will appear with my magic wand and let you know, uh, just so there is less confusion <laughs> as this goes along. Um, so, without further ado, Act 2, Scene 6 takes place at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and it is a scene between Albus... Uh, Albus Potter and Scorpius Malfoy, just to establish the, their friendship. And there it is, dude. It's a Hogwarts! I've never seen a view of it like this before. Still get a tingle, don't you? When you see it? Man, from the moment I first heard of it, bro, I was desperate to go. I mean, Dad didn't much like it there, but like, the way he described it? You know, from the age of 10, I checked the Daily Prophet first thing every morning, certain some sort of heinous tragedy would have befallen it, certain I wouldn't get to go. And then you got there and it turned out to be a terrible after all. Tchah! Not for me, dude. All I ever wanted to do was go to Hogwarts and get a bro to get up to mayhem with, just like Harry Potter. And I got his son, man. How crazy fortunate is that, dude? But I'm a nothing like me, papa. You're better, brah. You're my best friend, Albie. And this, this is mayhem to the nth degree, which is great, right? It's like thumbs up great. It's just, you know, I, I gotta say, and I, I don't mind admitting, I'm a tiny bit, like just, just a tiny bit scared, dude. You're my best friend too, and don't worry, I've got a good feeling about this. Albus? Albus! But we got to go for now. This scene is Act 2, Scene 16. It takes place in the Hogwarts Library, and uh, one, of the, one of the boys has been transferred uh, into another house, and it has affected their friendship, and so now we're seeing their friendship tested a little bit, uh, as well as it gives a little more detail into the plot and like what they need to do. Hi. Scorpius, I can't. I know. I know, you're a, you're a girly girl Gryffindor now, and you don't want to be seen with me now, but I'm here anyway, talking to you. Well, I can't talk, so... You have to. You think you can just go around ignoring everything that's happened? The world has gone crazy, have you noticed? I know, okay? Wands gone strange, Hermione's the professor, it's all wrong, but... And Rose doesn't exist. I know. Look, I don't understand everything, but you can't be here. Because of what we did, Rose wasn't even born. Do you remember being told about the Triwizard Tournament Yule Ball? All four Triwizard Champions took a partner. Your dad took Pavati Patil, Victor Crumb took Hermione, and Juan got jealous and behaved like a prat. Voice change. Only he didn't. I found Rita Skeeter's book about them, and it is very different. <laughs> very different indeed. Ron took Hermione to the ball. What? Like, oh my god. Shh. As friends. And they danced in a friendly way, and it, it, it was nice. And then he danced with Padma Patil, and, well, that, that was nicer. And they started dating, and it changed a bit, and then they got married, and meanwhile, Hermione became a... Psychopath. Hermione was supposed to go to the ball with Crum. Do you know why she didn't? Because she had suspicions that the two strange Durmstrang boys she met before the task were somehow involved in the disappearance of Cedric's wand. She believed we, under Victor's orders, cost Cedric the first task. Wow. And without Crum, Ron never got jealous. And that jealousy was all important. And so Ron and Hermione stayed very good friends, but never fell in love. Never got married. Never had Rose. It makes me very angry. <laughs> very angry indeed. So that's why my dad so... Did he change too? Voice change. Now, I'm pretty sure your dad's exactly the same. Head of magical law enforcement, married to Ginny, three kids. So why is he being such a... Have you heard me, Albus? This, this is bigger than you and your dad, alright? Professor Croker's law, 
The further someone can go back in time without possibility of serious harm to the traveler or time itself is five hours. And we went back years, right? The smallest moment, the smallest change, it creates ripples. And we, we've created really bad ripples, all right? Rose was never born because of what we did. Rose! Shh! Fine. Let's go back. Fix it. Get Cedric and Rose back is the wrong answer. You've still got the time turner, right? No one found it? No, don't, don't, Albus. All right, don't you know how bad things can get? Things need fixing, Scorpius. Cedric still needs saving. Rose needs bringing back. We'll be more careful. Whatever Croker says, trust me. Trust us. We'll get it right this time. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a voice chain. No, we won't. Give it back, Albus. Give it back. I can't, Donkey. This is too important. Yes, it's too important for us. We're not good at this stuff. We'll get it wrong. Who's saying that we'll get it wrong? I say. Because that's what we do. We mess things up. We lose. We're losers. True and total losers. Haven't you realized that yet? Well, I wasn't a loser before I met you. Albus, whatever you've got to prove to your dad, this isn't the way. I don't have anything to prove to my dad. I've got to save Cedric. I've got to save Rose. And maybe without you holding me back, I can make a proper go of it. With, with, without me? Oh, oh, poor Albus Potter with a chip on his shoulder. Poor Albus Potter, so sad. What are you saying? Voice change. Try my life. People look at you because your dad's the famous Harry Potter, savior of the wizarding world. People look at me because they think my dad is Voldemort. Voldemort! <laughs> Don't even. Can you even slightly imagine what that's like? Have you ever even tried? No, because you can't see beyond the end of your nose. Because you can't see beyond the end of this stupid thing with your dad. He will always be Harry Potter, you know that, right? And you will always be his son. And I know it's hard, and the other kids are awful, but you'll just have to learn to be okay with that, because there are worse things, okay? <laughs> there was a moment when I was excited, when I realized time was different, a moment when I thought maybe my mum hadn't gotten sick. Maybe my mum wasn't dead. But no, turns out she was. And I'm still the child of Voldemort, without a mother, giving sympathy to a boy who doesn't ever give anything back. So I'm sorry if I've ruined your life, because I tell you you wouldn't have a chance at ruining mine. It was already ruined. You just didn't make it better, because you're a terrible, the most terrible friend. I'm sorry about your mum. I know we don't talk about her enough, but I hope you know I'm sorry. It's rubbish what happened to her. To you. Voice change? Thanks. My dad said, said that you were the dark cloud around me. My dad started to think, well, and I just knew that I, that I had to stay away. And if I didn't, dad said he would. Your dad thinks the rumors are true? I'm the son of Voldemort? That's right, caller. His department is currently investigating it. Good. Let him. Sometimes. Sometimes. I find myself thinking maybe they're true too. No, they're not true. And I'll tell you why. Because I don't think Voldemort is capable of having a kind son. And you're kind, Scorpius. To the depths of your belly, to the tips of your fingers, I truly believe Voldemort, well, Voldemort couldn't have a child like you. That's nice. That's a nice thing to say. And listen, it's something I should have said a long time ago. In fact, you're probably the best person I know. And you don't... No. You couldn't hold me back. You make me stronger. And when Dad forced us apart, well, without you, I didn't much like my life without you in it neither. And I know I'll always be Harry Potter's son. And I will sort that out in my head. And compared to you, I know I've got it pretty good. Really. And... And that he and I are comparatively lucky, and well, Albus, as apologies go, this is, this is wonderfully fulsome, right? But you're starting to talk more about you than me again, so you probably better quit while you're ahead. Friends, always put her there. Bonus scene. 
Uh, this, this is uh, Act 2, Scene 5, takes place in the Forbidden Forest, and um, this scene actually features Harry Potter talking to a character named Bane, uh, who is a centaur, and when I saw the name Bane, I, uh, I had to do this scene, and I, I think you'll understand where I'm coming from. Albus! Scorpius! Albus! Harry Potter! Good. You still recognize me, Bane. You've grown older. I have. But not wiser. For you trespass on our land. I have always respected the centaurs. We are not enemies. You fought bravely at the Battle of Hogwarts, and I fought beside you. I did my part, but for my head and our honor. Not for you. And after the battle, the forest was deemed centaur land. And if you're on our land without permission, then you are our enemy. My son is missing, Bane. I need help finding him. And this gives you power over me? He's here in our forest? Yes. Then he is as stupid as you are. Can you help me, Bane? I can only tell you what I know. But I tell you not for your benefit. But for the benefit of my herd, the centaurs do not need another war. Neither do we. What do you know? I have seen your son, Harry Potter. Seen him in the movements of the stars. You've seen him in the stars? I can't tell you where he is. I can't tell you where you'll find him. But you've seen something. You've divined something. Where are they? Where's Alvis? There is a black cloud around your son. A dangerous black cloud. Around Albus? A black cloud that endangers us all. It would seem the darkness is not our ally. You'll find your son again, Harry Potter. But then you could lose him. Forever. Going mobile. Albus! Albus! Thanks for watching everybody. If you want to see more videos like this, I mean, let me know in the comments below. It's not something that I normally do, but hey, quarantine is making us all do weird stuff. Am I right? So yeah, uh, till next time guys. <laughs> Voice change, corner pocket. You're my best friend too, and I don't worry, I've got a good feeling about this. Oh, voice change. Because of what we did, Rose wasn't even born. Do you remember being told about the tri- <laughs> What f***ing accent was that slipping into? Voice change. Then he is as stupid as you. Well, oh, hello. <laughs> Voice change. <laughs> so stupid. I've exhausted every different way I can say voice change at this point. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and a share. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified when more of our videos get posted up. And, you know, we got a lot of other stuff on the channel, so stick around. You might find something else you enjoy. Take care, everyone.